What's up guys, it's been uh, a little while since I did a video with tapes, other than like unboxings and shit like that. But um, hold up, let me get some tape. Um, so I'm gonna do, I guess this is part two, <laughs> after like seven months or like six months of not doing it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be part two of my Black Death, and basically all the kind of metal tapes that I have. Uh, I pull out five at a time, show them real quick for you. Uh, sorry if it's a little loud, I'm, the music's a little loud, sorry. Um, I'm doing a little uh, project thingy that I'm doing. Um, making some dubbings and stuff like that, so. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that, so I'm going to be kind of close to the camera and talking a little loud. So yeah, here's the five that I got for you. Uh, I'll start on the bottom. First off is my homies band, uh, this is killer shit. Not just saying that because they're good friends of mine. Um, I really, really, really enjoy this. Uh, I've listened to it a shitload of times, and honestly I prefer the cassette cover to the uh, CD cover, which is killer. But uh, yeah, this is uh, Goat Whispers, Hell for Override, Override, and Euphorian Suicide. Uh, super DIY, hand, uh, hand dub tapes. First side is Hell's Override and the second is Euphorian Suicide. Uh, Hell's Override, this is technically a double LP that just gets claimed as a full length for simplicity's sake. Um, yeah. So uh, Hell's Override is like punky black metal, more black metal than punk. Kind of like early Dark Throne type shit. Uh, and second is Euphorian Suicide, which is kind of depressive suicidal black metal uh, in a way. But uh, yeah, so it's a uh, paper J card hand done. Looks really good, honestly. I really enjoy how this turned out. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's a pretty titties album, not gonna lie to you. Uh, but yeah, I do enjoy this cover a lot more than the regular CD. Hang on, let me pull that out. But yeah, you tell me which one you like more. I, I prefer the, uh, the cassette cover for sure. But this is cool too. So uh, yeah, that's Goat Whispers, Hell Override, and Euphorian Suicide. Uh, besides that, I got two more bands. And I know a lot of people hate both of them, but I have them. And I like them. So I'm going to show them. So here they are. Uh, first is the first album by one of my favorite bands ever. This is Fatal Portrait by King Diamond. Nothing I need to explain to you about King Diamond. Uh, old school... Uh, old school looking tape. Shit, this is an 86 press. This is the OG, or close to the OG press. It might even be the OG press. Uh, side two, side one, King Diamond. His first album out on what... I don't know what, uh, what label it's in. This is a Canadian press. Yeah, this is tight. But yeah, King Diamond's kicking ass as usual. Uh, one of my favorite bands ever. Uh, oh, it's a Roadrunner press. I kind of thought he was on Roadrunner. I just didn't want to say it and be wrong. But yeah, there's the cover, there's a little J card, there's the King himself. Here's all the lyrics, a little sticker. Uh, manufactured and mastered by Roadrunner Records, uh, Product of Canada, all that fun shit. Yeah, this is a great, great record. Um, when I saw him, he opened with The Candle, the first song on here, uh, which is sick. And uh, besides that, uh, I don't think he played anything off this album besides that. But uh, yeah, this is not my favorite King Diamond album, but it's definitely an amazing one because he hasn't put out a shitter. Next is my second favorite King Diamond album. This is Abigail. Nothing I gotta say here. Classic album. Uh, this is not an original, it might be an original press, I don't even know anymore. I should probably quit trying to figure that out. Because they all just have the early dates, 87. Gray tape, that nasty, nasty color. Uh, this is actually a Goodwill find, which is tight. To see this at Goodwill. Uh, there you go. Pretty boring ass J card, not gonna lie to you, but I love the cover. Um, he played nothing on the back. He played Funeral, Arrival. Uh, he did a mansion in darkness into a mansion in sorrow off of Abigail 2. 
Uh, he also did the Family Ghost. Actually, he did almost all of this record. When I saw him at uh, Mayhem Fest. Sick. Everybody knows this album. If you don't, get the hell on it. And two more by a band that I kind of don't like that much anymore. Besides um, everything up to the second record. Or the third, third full length. And then a couple here and there. But uh, yeah, so this is the first debut EP by Slayer. Haunting the Chapel. Uh, garage sale pickup. 50 cents for this shit. How do you argue with it? Even if you don't like Slayer, you could pick it up and like trade with homies. Cool, cool uh, metal blade tape. Very cool, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, this is Slayer to me. This is the real Slayer. Uh, damn, I never took it out of the here. But uh, the J card stuck. And I will not be taking that out because I don't want to destroy it any more than it is already. But yeah, it's in there. It's got the full fold one. Uh, you guys all know this one, you know. I'm sure you've heard this album once or twice, or EP or whatever. Yeah, it's just Chemical Warfare, Captor of Sin, and the title track, Haunting the Chapel. One of the best uh, thrash EPs ever, for sure. Uh, as much as I don't listen to Slayer anymore, that's one of the best thrash EPs ever, no questions. And um, a classic album. Everybody knows this one. This is Brain and Blood. You gotta know it. Can't deny the brilliance of this album. This is a great one. Uh, I don't listen to much Slayer anymore, but the part we're listening to right now was inspired by Slayer. Uh, the song Necrophobic really abrupt ending. Uh, but yeah, this is my band's EP. Uh, not to be a pretentious douche and listen to it in a video, but um, I threw it on because I'm dubbing tapes of it. Uh, and it just ended right there, so we're gonna have some quiet. Uh, but yeah, everybody knows this one, you know, classic tracks, Necrophobic, Rain and Blood, other great things like that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's Slayer's Rain and Blood. Um, that's it, guys. I'm just going to keep it to a quick five for all these videos for the sake of simplicity, you know, just to keep it, uh, keep it cool. And I just kind of jump around here and there, show only the ones that I want because I have, like, Motley Crue tapes. I'm sure none of you want to see that. Skid Row. Uh, I got some Sabotage stuff, Queensryche. I got stuff like that, and I don't really feel like showing that. I mean, like, everybody knows Judas Priest. Everybody knows Iron Maiden, Metallica. Everybody knows most of these bands. So I just don't screw with it because you've seen it. There's no questions in my mind that you've seen it. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have another one up soon. Uh, yeah. Keep it greasy.